Hello guys, my name is Madhur and welcome to my channel. This is the 21st tutorial in the series of tutorials on Unix shell scripting. Now in this tutorial we're gonna prepare another shell script but before doing that I am going to demonstrate something to you using the terminal. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the cat command and prepare a text file. I'll call it test and I'll just type in some text in it like uh, my neighbors dog is annoying for a full stop and I'll save my document by pressing ctrl D and I can ls and see that my test file is right there in the home folder now in the previous tutorial we changed the permissions of ss1.sh and we made it an executable program and you can see that the shell is highlighting ss1.sh in green ink which means that it's an executable program and that's uh, you know unlike uh, the other names that are being displayed in the output of ls so that's it and uh, let me clear the terminal for you now what I want to do is I wish to set my positional parameters by extracting the output from my test file and uh, by that I mean I want dollar one to have the value my dollar two to have the value neighbors dollar three to have the value dog and so on and so forth now I can't do this by typing in set cat test although you know uh, some of you might be wondering okay what's wrong with this command because cat test is uh, basically going to generate the output of test and that should set the positional parameters but how would the shell know that I wish to execute this part of the program as a command first and then assign the output of that to the positional parameters that set holds so the thing uh, that's gonna help the shell acknowledge that is called axe engrave or reverse code and uh, they all they always come in pair and uh, you can find them uh, on the left side of the key one on your keyboard and uh, you uh, when you press it once it gets there you don't have to press the shift key to get it and the shift key would get you the tilde and that we don't want so when I execute this command when I press the enter key and then when I see my positional parameters by executing dollar star I see that my positional parameters have been set with the output from the test command so sorry not the command but the file test so that was it and now we're going to prepare a shell script and uh, it's again going to use positional parameters we're going to uh, save this file first and we're going to call it ss6 this is the sixth script file that we've prepared I'm gonna save it in the home directory and uh, what this file is going to do is it's gonna rename a file from my home directory to the file name and then it will have an extension uh, of the user login name which is my name currently so let me first show you guys something when I execute the command who am I it's a command that we learned in the very beginning of the course and when I press the enter key I see that the first field is my name that is my login name the second field is my terminal ID and the third field is the time and date at which I logged in so if I would set my positional parameters with the output of who am I then dollar one will hold the value mother dollar two will hold the value of my terminal ID and dollar three will hold the value of the date and time at which I logged in right so now in my script file let me first put a comment like uh, this script renames a file to file dot name where name is the login name of the user executing the script that's it that's uh, comprehensive enough and what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna first use a variable name and I'm gonna assign it the value of the file name that's going to be passed to the program as an argument right so when I pass in the name of uh, my file suppose if I execute this program with test as uh, an argument then test will be stored in name so that I can use dollar one again for storing something else 
and then I'm gonna execute set and uh, in the action graves I'm gonna put in who am I so basically what I am gonna do now is I'm going to override the previous value of dollar one by my login name which is Madhur and uh, in the next line I'm gonna execute MV because we have to rename our file so then uh, it will be dollar name space dollar name dot dollar one dollar one in this case will have my name right I'll save this file it's taking some time sorry about that okay it's done now I'll clear my terminal first I'll run ls to show that I have my file test in here and soon it will be renamed to test.madhur you see how sh space ss six dot sh and uh, then test will go as an argument and I press the enter key and when I now run ls I see that my file test is called test.madhur so again a quick recap of the program what we did is we first uh, copied the uh, value of the argument that we passed through the program in a variable called name so that we can use dollar one for other purposes and in the very next statement we set the positional parameter dollar one with the uh, output of who am I and we've included who am I in the action graves because we want who am I to be executed as a command before uh, setting the positional parameters and then in the last statement we've used the mv command to rename our file from uh, dollar name to dollar name dot uh, the user login name so test has been renamed to test.mother so there you go that was our sixth script file in the next tutorial we're going to learn something interesting again thank you so much for watching this one and please subscribe to my channel